Keanu Reeves, who I believe is not only one of the nicest people in Hollywood, but truly one of the nicest people in the entire universe, the known realm of existence that we live in. Keanu Reeves is personifying kindness. He made headlines last night for a little statement he said about Batman that I wanted to talk about. Now, this is not a drag Keanu video. Uh, it's more just a discussion that I kind of wanted to get into and I wanted to get your thoughts on. So, Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content as we talk about this. I have noticed that lately YouTube has not been showing our videos really to anyone. We do upload all the time on both channels, Degenerate J and Degenerate Plays. So if you're not seeing that stuff, please be sure to check it out because uh, it's getting kind of ridiculous. They will not show um, they will not show my stuff to anybody anymore. Keanu Reeves actually said that he wants to play Batman. Now, what's interesting is he is actually playing Batman in DC's League of Super Pets, which is a new animated film from them, focused more on the Super Pets themselves. But he does voice Batman in that, which kind of got me thinking, huh, you know what? This doesn't sound too bad. And once we started getting into his quote, I think it's really fun because he said Pattinson's got Batman right now and he's doing awesome. Nice guy Keanu moment. Maybe down the road, maybe when they need an older Batman. So I thought this was cool because it's one of those things where I could actually see this happening. Now, you know, in the past, I think a lot of people didn't really think of this matchup as working, uh, which is a different Batman matchup, which is Jensen Ackles playing Batman. Now, I think that he's kind of proven that it does in voice work, and that actually does open up a door for you to cross over into live action. Yes, it took decades, but we even saw that with something like Kevin Conroy's Batman. It's a shame they had to slaughter his portrayal of him and not give him a cool version of Batman to play uh, in the Arrowverse, uh, but he was still able to show up on screen as a live action Bruce Wayne, which was at least neat to see. Now, when it comes to Jensen Ackles and Keanu Reeves, I don't think a lot of people expected the voice work to really even happen. Obviously, Jensen had done voice work before as uh, as Red Hood, as Jason Todd, and Keanu's been everywhere as well. Not to downplay Jensen either, he's now on The Boys, and also he has such a robust career with Supernatural, and he had a big part on Smallville, I believe, season four, which I loved him in that as well. You know, when you get to Keanu, though, he's worked with WB a lot of times, and it's one of those things that I could actually see happening if the right cards landed on the table, you know, if there was a project where it made sense, if this played out well with uh, him voicing Batman in this movie, things like that. And I kind of wanted to know what you thought about this, because Keanu gets memed on a lot uh, in in acting, not for being a nice guy or anything like that, but in terms of like the the Shatnerisms, you know, like William Shatner, where he has like a very specific way of talking and some people say that the way he reads dialogue is cheesy or the way he does this or that. But I think once John Wick came out, you know, obviously I believe he proved himself way back in the Matrix trilogy, like the originals especially. Uh, but once John Wick came out, I started to notice this kind of sentiment died down a bit. There wasn't as much of the uh, making fun of the Keanuisms or the Shatnerisms type stuff of how he reads dialogue or how he speaks or how he acts. People really bought into it and they, and they started to really love him for it, you know? And now he's at a point where he's beloved in Hollywood. Most people don't dislike Keanu Reeves. I don't know a single person who doesn't enjoy at least one Keanu Reeves movie or his acting or think he's a nice guy. And I'm kind of wondering what you think about this if you think he could play a good Batman. I do think he could. Uh, he's one of those guys who doesn't really seem to age very much visibly at all. I know that's a commonly known thing as well. But one thing with this too is that I think it's something that he said very well here, which is an older Batman. You know, I could really see him playing an older Batman, either in live action or more animation. It would be really cool to see in live action, although it might be a little hard to get very buffed up, you know, for, for a role like that, even though he already is strong. Might be a little hard to put on some weight for that. The older you get, it's just more difficult. Not undoable, just harder, you know. Uh, to actually put on that muscle. But I think when you get to voicing, especially, I would really love to see this because Jensen Ackles came in and he knocked it out of the park with Batman. And now he's kind of a mainstay. Like we're going to see him coming back as Batman in animation. And I could really see the same thing with Keanu as well. The way that he speaks, the way he carries himself and how he can do harsh or more... Uh, serious dialogue as well. I could really see this happening. I do also want to add in here 
with this too that another standout that kind of surprised people because a lot of people when they hear these when they hear these fan casting type stuff i guess this one is keanu himself but when they hear sort of a fan casting thing they're like that doesn't fit that doesn't fit honestly years ago i would have told you peter weller doesn't fit but i thought that he came in and voiced batman in the dark knight returns parts one and two excellently so i think that when you get these actors and they have a wide range and array of personality and characters and the ability to speak dialogue they really can come in and surprise you on it so what do you think about that do you think that keanu would make a good batman would you like to see him in live action would you like to see him voicing in in animation or both i'm interested to hear what you think about that i would like to see at least a couple more uh, films out of the jensen ackles voicing for batman before we kind of move on to anyone else personally i i really don't like it when they switch voices if it's in the same continuity. So obviously while they stick in this, I guess you'd say the Man of Tomorrow verse or whatever you want to call it, the new DC animated universe, which is now the new, new DC animated universe, movie universe. Uh, if they stick in that, I don't really want them to change voices, but in the future, I'd be very open to this and I'm interested in your thoughts. So please be sure to let me know in the comments down below what you think. Like I said before, a lot of my videos are not showing up or being shown to anyone. So if you could please check them out, it means the world to me. This is really what I love doing is entertaining you guys and talking with you. It's really my passion to kind of be here and entertain you in any way I can. So have a fantastic day. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, everyone, Stay shway.